Hello and welcome back. It's a very frosty, cold day. It's um, a little after half past eleven. Um, I was planning on coming down and doing quite a few jobs today, but I didn't sleep well last night, which is a good and a bad thing. Bad thing because I don't really feel that well this morning. I'm hoping it's just because I didn't sleep well. But a good thing is because I got to saw I got to see the Northern Lights. So last night there was quite a lot of. Um, <clears throat> Northern Lights over the UK, which was nice to see. I've seen them a few times when we went to Iceland a few years ago, but it's nice to see them in the back, in the backyard. Um, so today, <clears throat> I've decided I'm just going to plant out my garlic. So I've got my elephant garlic that I grew um, last year, or planted last year, um, and then these two of me garlic bulbs. Um, garlic cloves, but I can't even speak. Uh, my garlic from last year as well. So I thought instead of buying some, let's see if we can reuse the ones that we grew. Because obviously there's three decent cloves in here, which potentially will give us three more elephant garlics. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about 10 or 20. Um, cloves in here so this will give us decent garlics as well <clears throat> so yeah that's the plan for today like I said I did have plans for other jobs but I'm just not feeling it at the moment so I'll probably hopefully come back um, on Monday which for you when this video comes up will be tomorrow um, it is my birthday I've taken a day off work but I thought why not come down if the weather's decent and do do a few do a few extra jobs that I was going to do today that I'm not feeling too well about doing so I'll do them on Monday so let me show you which bed these garlics are going to go into and then we'll get cracking on okay so I'm going to use this bed for the onions and gar um not onions and garlics for the garlic because it's got the covers already on it so I can tag them back down again I just had a look in the Compost bin, and there's quite a bit decent amount of compost. So I think I'll grab the compost, fill this bed up, and then we'll get the garlics in. Okay, let's have a look at the garlic, let's see what it's like. Ooh. Nice big bowl there, the elephant garlic. And then another big one there. Oh wow, this one is huge. That's a whole bulb. Look at that there. That's massive. So there's three, one massive one and two decent sized ones. And then the regular garlic. You 
I've got one, two, three, oops, four. Five pieces of that. Five, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, five pieces of that. So I'm going to put them in um, and then we'll see the space we've got left for the other ones. Let me go get a little shovel to get them in. Ooh -wee. I think what I'm going to do is use this piece of wood to make the holes. So I think we need Oh gee. It's gone too far down there. One. So we've got three elephant garlic, so one two. Three. Big one in the middle. I'll do there, and then next big size here. Just cover this off over there. It's too deep. And then last one again, this one's a bit too deep. Uh, in there. So we'll do like maybe. Right, so that's done. We've got three elephant garlics there, and then we've got eight normal garlics there. Um, we've still got space over here, so what I might do is I might buy some more garlic from the shop and use this space as well, or I might utilise it for something else. Maybe use it for the onions, I think. Um, brill. Right, let me just get this stuff away. So what I'll do now is I will give it a water and then I will put the hoops and secure all the netting onto it and I'll come back to you when we're done. So we're all netted so the birds don't pick at the, the garlic roll. So that's all done. I just wanted your thoughts, opinion on something. Ignore all the wood, I've not had time to get rid of it yet. Um, here where the apple tree is, I'm wondering it's not, we're not going to use it, like beds-wise, but I'm thinking, what, what do you reckon about having a pond underneath it? Tell me what you think. Um, step back a bit. So literally, you'll just have it, like, kind of, just a little one. I'll buy, like, a little plastic container thing, dig it in, and just have a little pond, and then have some, like, obviously the spring bulbs and a few other bits and bobs around it, make it a bit like a wildlife area. Um, let me know what you think of that. So, it is home time now. I'll just sort out a few little bits in the shed. Um, and then, and then I'll take you home and I'll show you what's in the sea craft box because that's just arrived. I know I normally do our own sea craft video, but I mean, this video is probably going to be, um, This video is probably going to be quite short, so I'll tag on the Seacraft content at the end of the video. So I'll take you back to the house and we'll see what's in the Seacraft box. So it's that time again. It is October Seacraft. So let's 
see what we've got in this month's box. So we have Onion Elsa Craig, the main crop variety is a favourite, tried and tested variety, suitable for spring and autumn sowing. Splendid choice for the show bench, which is equally good in the kitchen. Uh, next tips, hoe carefully or weed by hand, as dense weed growth will have a serious effect on the yield. Water only if the weather is dry and feed occasionally. You can sow September, October and then January to April. You plant out in March to April time and then you harvest in June. So I think sow these ones because I've not had much luck with onions when I plant them directly out now and my dad usually plants his out in March time so I think if I get them sowed now so so in direct sow season spring thinly on firm well-drained soil coverage with things autumn sowings are best started in modules and grown under glass until spring so I think maybe see if we can get these done inside and then see how we get on with them then we've got Chinese celery, kintsai, slender celery stems and leaves with a strong flavour for use in salads and as a cooked vegetable. Kintsai can be grown all year round in temperate climates using crop protection for winter months. Uh, next tip, celery germinates better with light so do not cover seeds with compost as germination rates will be affected. Mm, that's interesting. So I'm guessing you just put the seeds on top. Of wherever you plant them out. So on the surface of moist, well-drained compost, indoors or under glass in autumn or spring, ideal temperatures 10 to 15 degrees. Germination takes two to three weeks. Well, we're currently... What's the temperature at the moment? 11 degrees and we've got highs of 11 and lows of 8. So potentially we may be able to sow now indoors and see how it goes transplant seedlings when large enough to handle after danger of frost has passed autumn zones are best kept in a greenhouse or under cloches well i've got the greenhouses outside that i want to use as well so that's good then we have wild rocket dragon's fire an improved version of dragon's tongue this attractive red veiny red veined variety will add a peppery kick to salad sandwiches garnishes and pesto Next tips, the variety is cold tolerant, so winter sowings can be kept in unheated greenhouses, which we've got as well. So sow all year, harvest all year, can be sown all year round in similar way to cress, either on, on moist cotton wool or sown 0.5 centimetre deep in trays of compost. Oh, so we'll be doing this for them. And then finally we have lettuce freckles, stunning in the mixed leaf salad bowl with sweet tasting leaves and a good crunchy texture freckles get its name from the attractive spotted leaves ideal for sowing and growing almost all year due to being under being one of the hardiest lettuces for growing under glass or clutches throughout the winter as well as main growing season next tips during winter lettuce will grow slower so weeding is important to ensure they don't steal the nutrients so you can sow all year you can plant out up until February next year and then you can harvest so I think again sewing into modules so we have the lettuce freckles we have the onion Elsa Craig we have the dragon's fire wild rocket and we have the kintsai Chinese celery A lovely box again for October Plenty of um, ideas of what you can sow. So even though we're into autumn already, plenty still to sow even towards the end of the year. So get out there and get sowing. And you've been watching Grown with Plot 21.